Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a good day where you are. My name is Pris Taff, and today I'm going to be coming back at you with another one of my Ace Combat 7 Ace Guide videos. On today's video, we're going to be hunting down three aircraft during Operation Dragon Breath. The Mirage 2005, the A-10, and the Su-34 fullback. The Su-34 is called Walrus, the Mirage 2005 is called Foudre, and the A-10 is called Buffle. But firstly, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button to be notified when I release new guides like this. But of course, before we jump into it, I'm going to be showing you the aircraft skins beforehand. The Mirage 2005 is a standard blue with a little red lightning stripe on it. The A-10 has a German-style camouflage on it called Flectarn. However, this one is not green in nature, but more a rather blue oceanic version. And the Su-34 is nice and simple, black top, with a cyan undercoating. Now for this mission you can pretty much use any aircraft you want but since there's a ground attack element during this mission I chose to use the F-35 as standard with the 8 air to ground missile. So when you start the mission because there are so many different criteria to unlock them I'm going to show you simply step by step the easiest way of how to unlock them and in the order they appear. So the very first one is when you first start the mission and you're flying into the combat zone you can pretty much go low to the ground and as you get lower to the ground you want to fly underneath the destroyed Stonehenge weapon. There you are, so as you saw on my radar an aircraft appeared so once you've flown underneath the weapon simply take to disguise and he will become visible to you. So there you go, the Mirage 2005 known as Faudre and then, as standard, all you have to do is take him down during the mission and you will have unlocked that skin for him. The next one is the A-10 called Buffle. Now, during a part of the mission, three A-10 Warthogs appear on one side of the map and you pretty much have to take down all three of them to make Buffle spawn. And on top of taking them down, because they are bound for Stonehenge, they're going to cause damage to it and one of the criterias is to have Stonehenge completely undamaged during the mission. So if you take these down fast enough, that will contribute to the criteria for unlocking this. So as you've just seen, I've just taken them down. So as the game progresses, you will see a lone aircraft spawn off in the distance. This one is Buffle. Surprisingly for an A-10, it's quite maneuverable and it will take a few missiles to take down, but I chose to use the MG. The third one is the Su-34 during the helicopter attack which comes in during the base. I don't have footage of it because it played up but if you've done a good enough job of defending Stonehenge against damage then he will appear with the aircraft and all you have to do is take them down as well. The mission succeeded. So during the after action report if you've done it all correctly and taken them down you should see three of their names in the targets destroyed section and then after that it will tell you you have new skins available for these aircraft. I actually unlocked these separately and accidentally unlocked the A-10 before I'd even considered doing the guide. One thing for this is you have to do this mission in one take on hard. If you die or restart to any checkpoints, it will interfere. So then, if you came from the previous video, where we hunted down the Rafale M, known as Chasseur, or the Su-33 Flanker D, known as Ibis, during Operation Siren Song, thank you very much. If you haven't seen that, link to the top right. Or join me next time where we hunt down the MiG-31B Foxhound, known as Comet, during Operation Werewolf. So then my friends, that is it for this video. If you found it useful, please leave a like and subscribe. If you're having any trouble, put a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you on the next video. Take care and goodbye.